celebrate Boost to Carlo. Because of the year that's in it, 2016, and it's a historic year for, for our country and our nation, uh, it was great for Carlo uh, to host it as a small county. You know, uh, a lot of work goes into it, and it does give you a huge profile. I enjoyed it. It shows the value of Congress and it's important to say there's also a social dimension. Gales from around the world meeting with the Gales of Ireland and interacting, mixing and sharing. That's important all on the one roof. And of course we had great debate and that's also very pleasant. Last night and today it was wonderful to see such healthy debate. People with various uh, views. It's good that there are views. We debated 65 motions and all of them that matter. These are motions that make a real difference. Some successful, some not. But overall I thought there was a good enthusiasm, a good energy and a good liveliness to our delegates. Well, I was particularly pleased that we passed the motions relating to burnout. It will add a lot uh, to going along the way to relieve the stress on young players and the motion reducing to the underage grades to under 20 and to under 17. I was very pleased to see those motions passed. I think they're significant. And it was also good to see that the motion from Dublin was defeated. I thought that the broadcasting rights, negotiations for the GA, there should be trust in the GA. We should trust our management. We should trust our Senator Council. They've guided the association well for over 130 years and I think tying negotiators' hands behind their backs is not a good idea. I was pleased to see that. And uh, so there was a lot of very positive developments. The introduction of the mark is a significant change. I think it will be exciting and people will look forward to seeing how that works out and you have to try these, is these issues. So a lot of good events happened at Congress. I, I was both pleased and I was also a bit uh, annoyed, I have to say, also at some elements of the motions. I was pleased that a lot of speakers all spoke about clubs. Speakers for and speakers against. They did all highlight that there were thinking about the clubs, that's good. I was delighted with that. I was a little disappointed, I have to be honest, that the motions, particularly this morning, the motions relating to the All-Ireland Finals and the motions to do with replays in particular, uh, they do have a direct impact on clubs. They have an absolute effect. But I was I was heartened by the fact that a majority of delegates supported them, but not two-thirds. Two-thirds is a very high bar. We didn't succeed, but I think that this will continue. And I think that we now have thrown a light on the need and on the plight and the absolute need to keep encouraging and helping the club player. Uh, we didn't succeed with those motions. I am disappointed about that, but I am energised by the fact that, as I say, even those who opposed those motions did speak about the need to protect the club player and the club player fixtures, but we'll keep at it. The Clare motion in relation to all county grounds being available to other sports or non-GA sports, that was heavily defeated and I was pleased about that. Management needs to protect our games, to protect our property. We can and have done in the past, uh, when requested, offer Crow Park and significant other stadia if required to other sports. We do that on special once-off events, but a motion to simply allow all our county grounds to be available, we would come under a lot of pressure, there is no doubt about that, and our counties clearly share that view and the motion was rejected and I was pleased with that.